Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I've got a White Sox spring training update for everybody. Um, just to, I mean, I'm not going to recap like every game uh, during spring training because I don't really see a point to doing that. But every so often uh, throughout the spring, I will bring updates on what's going on, how the team's doing, injuries, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, right now at this point, uh, the White Sox have a record of 6-3-1. and one. They did tie a game against the Dodgers 2-2, two to two, I think. So that's not too bad. I mean, but it's spring training too. I, mean, I don't think you really want to read too much into spring training results uh, one way or the other. Um, but it's always better to see them with a winning record than it is to see them with a losing record in the spring. So there is that. Um, uh, as far as some of the hitters in the spring, uh, Andrew Vaughn is hitting 364 with a home run uh, in 11 at bats. So that's encouraging to see uh, from somebody as young as him that's still probably at least a year away from the uh, major leagues. Delmonico is hitting 333. He's 5 for 15 so far this spring. Uh, Chesler Cuthbert is hitting 308, as is um, Eloy Jimenez and Lewis Robert. All are hitting 308, and all of them have one home run so far. So that's also encouraging. I mean, some of the, some of the uh, other regulars haven't gotten off to his greatest start. I think, uh, um, I think Abreu is hitting like 214. So some of the regulars haven't gotten off to as good a start as you would like to see, but again, it's spring, it just started. Um, there's really, you don't want to read too much into anything that's going on. That's why I'm not going to recap, you know, like after every game, what the White Sox have done in the spring. Uh, Madrigal is off to a little bit of a slow start, though. He's hitting 188. If you watch some of my videos, my comparison videos, I've said that it's... Um, Expected that Mendick will start the year as the White Sox second baseman and then Madrigal will come up when the White Sox feel he's ready probably in 2020 at some point. But um, the slow spring, you know, who knows, may be a little bit uh, longer than we were thinking. Um, because, you know, it ranges anywhere from when his clock is stops running for um, free agency you know, and kicks it out another year to, you know, when he's truly ready and doing really well in the minors. So we'll see what that is. Uh, I'm not going to recap pitcher stats because the pitchers have not really played nearly. I mean, you're looking at some batters here with 11 and 15 at bats. That's, you know, small enough a sample size. But some of the pitchers, I think the most that any of the pitchers have pitched is four innings. So I'm not going to go over them. Um, they're just they're working on stuff, and really that's how hitters are too. Hitters and uh, some of the established pitchers, they're all working on different things. They're not necessarily it's not a results driven thing. Um, as far as injuries, those have been relatively minor so far. Uh, Encarnacion and Jace Fry have been dealing with back discomfort, and they're working their way back in. They're both day to day. Uh, Grand Dahl had a strained calf. You know, that's not really that big of a deal, I don't think. Um, and, but we'll we'll see as time goes on. But then again, we've got McCann as his backup. He's a very capable, very good backup catcher. So, uh, but I don't think a, a, a calf strain is that big of a deal anyway. And then you got Giolito with uh, some kind of chest. Um, chest injury or chest discomfort something like that but he's also day to day uh, it doesn't look like it's anything serious so uh that is the that's what i got for the white Sox fan so far in in the spring of 2020 um and as the spring training schedule goes on i will do further updates but for right now that's it for me sportsman z bob zolke Signing off.